Hey there. Welcome to AB Engineering Guild, the channel where we explore everything about agricultural and biosystems engineering in the Philippines. Whether you're a student, a reviewee, or a future board passer, this is your place to learn, review, and succeed. Today, we're bringing you 10 able review questions to help you prepare for the upcoming agricultural and biosystems engineering licensure exam. These questions cover both theoretical concepts and board-style computations, so make sure you've got your paper and pen ready. Let's get started. Area 1. Part 4. 1. Refers to the use of advanced technologies, such as automation, artificial intelligence, AI, big data, Internet of Things, IoT, and robotics, to improve farming practices. A. Agriculture 1.0 B. Agriculture 2.0 C. Agriculture 3.0 D. Agriculture 4.0 Answer, D, Agriculture 4.0. 2. It is the use of technology like GPS, sensors, and automated machinery to improve farming efficiency and productivity. A, Agriculture 1.0. B, Agriculture 2.0. C, Agriculture 3.0. D, Agriculture 4.0. Answer, C, Agriculture 3.0. 3. The act regulating the practice of agricultural and biosystems engineering in the Philippines is, A, RA 11203, B, RA 10601, C, RA 10915, D, RA 8435. Answer, C, RA10915. 4, RA11203, Article 12, SEC, 13, the Rice Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, Rice Fund, shall consist of an annual appropriation of a. 10 billion pesos for the next six years, b. 5 billion pesos for the next three years, c. 3 billion pesos for the next four years, d. 7 billion pesos for the next five years. Answer, A, 10 billion for the next six years. 5, RA11203, the 70% allocation for TESTA under the rice extension services shall be used for, A, rice mechanization, B, rice machineries and equipment, C, rice crop farming, farm mechanization, C, production, modern rice farming techniques, and knowledge slash technology transfer through schools nationwide, D, rice mechanization, farm machineries and equipment. Answer, C, rice crop farming, farm mechanization, seed production, modern rice farming techniques, and knowledge slash technology transfer through schools nationwide. 6, a PIC, professional identification card, bearing the registration number, its validity, and expiry dates, duly signed by the chairperson of the commission, shall be issued to every registrant who has paid the prescribed fees, submitted a certificate of membership in good standing from the AIPO, and proof of completion of the CRD requirements. How often shall the said PIC be renewed, subject to the board's prescribed requirements and proof of completion of the mandatory CPD requirements? A. Every one year. B. Every two years. C. Every three years. D. Every four years. Answer. C. Every three years. 7. All drawings, plans, specifications, and other documents and reports to be used for the design, construction, test and evaluation, research, and extension of agricultural and biosystems buildings, structures, machineries and equipment, irrigation, soil and water conservation structures, and other agricultural and biosystems engineering facilities slash projects shall be underscore signed and sealed by a licensed agricultural and biosystems engineer. A. Partially. B. Not. C. Fully. D. Occasionally.
Answer. C. Fully. 8. The following are signed and sealed by agricultural and biosystems engineers, except A. Slaughterhouse B. Communal irrigation C. Farm roads D. Barangay roads Answer. D. Barangay roads 9. Section 33-34 at least how many agricultural and biosystems engineers are required in the LGU offices subject to qualifications? B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. Answer. A. 1. 10. SEC. 40. This is required for every agricultural and biosystems engineer registered with the commission and is mandatory for practice. A. CPD. B. Teaching. C. Oath. D. Seminars slash training. Answer. A. CPD. That wraps up our quiz for today. How many did you get right? Comment your score down below. If you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future lessons and reviews here at AB Engineering Guild. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep learning and keep engineering solutions for a better agriculture. See you next time.